Sophia Carson was born on April 10th, 1993. We were first introduced to this vibrant beauty on television through her first TV appearance on the Disney Channel series as a guest star on Austin and Allie. After I got my first job, which was my guest starring role on Austin and Allie, and I never had social media before that, I was not cool. In 2015, the job that changed her life was her role as Evie, the daughter of the evil queen, on Disney's Descendants, which was her first ever real job. It's an honor, yeah, it really is so cool. From Descendants, which was my first job, and changed my life to now Pretty Little Liars, which is also just like crazy, yeah. crazy. So it's been a blessing. Did you know that meeting Oprah was one of the biggest moments of her life? If you could separate my life into two moments, before and after Oprah. So when I met Oprah, I mean, I can't believe I just said those words. And I could not tell you a single thing that happened in that fashion show because I was just like eyes locked on Oprah. It was with this magnetic energy. Or that the Cheetah Girls movies are her favorite old school decoms. We can do anything. Or how about this fun fact? Do you have a secret talent? <laughs> do I have a secret talent? I make amazing popcorn. <laughs> Can you really mess up popcorn though? Or that during quarantine, this is what she learned. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty, but it's a big one for me. <laughs> because I don't know how to cook. Like this, the, the kitchen is a, is a, is a place of a uh, sphere for me. <laughs> so um, that was a big one. But that's about it. That's all I've learned. But that's How cool. about you? I have 12 more secret facts about Sophia Carson coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zalia Hart. When were you first introduced to Sophia Carson? Comment your earliest memory of this superstar down below. I remember one time I was in LA a couple years ago and I saw her leaving this place and I was like, damn, I should tell her how much my audience loves my Descendants videos. But I didn't get the chance. Womp womp. If you enjoy this video, be sure to check out more videos that I've done on Disney's Descendants and the stars that Descendants created. Feel free to also follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe, but for now, let's get into the list. Revlon was the first lipstick that she ever wore as a little girl, her mom's red lipstick from Revlon. Her mom allowed her to be into fashion, makeup, and expressing herself, so she was open to Sophia playing in her makeup. When Sophia Carson got the news that she was going to be Revlon's global and brand ambassador, she was in New York in the middle of press and she called her mom first. She believes that Revlon represents more than just a beautiful face, they represent women who are fierce and bold and changing stereotypes. Types. So she thinks it's cool to be a part of a beauty brand that isn't about being perfect. Sophia was raised by her mom and her grandma and considers them the most incredible women that she's ever known. She said they taught her and her sister at a young age that they have to give as much as they can and that true beauty is to have beautiful hearts. She said she longs to be even just a third of the women that they are. Sophia uses her Instagram platform or her entire social media platform to spread awareness on things that mean the most to her as well as positivity. Her work with UNICEF makes her the proudest and the happiest. Working in Brazil, she went there to shed light on the work that UNICEF is doing. Her passion is the education of young girls, so she loved how UNICEF is educating young girls and in turn, saving their lives. Sophia's goal is to graduate within the next five to 10 years from UCLA. I know it sounds crazy, but her schedule is so hectic that she doesn't know when she will actually graduate. But she does say that whenever that happens, everybody's invited. Still going to school, uh, was well, still enrolled. Yeah. Um, had to take a pause for a second, you know, with all of this, but I'm going to graduate maybe when I'm 45. Perfect. And you guys are all invited <laughs> to the, to the graduation. Yeah. Her favorite Disney stars are Hilary Duff, Raven, Miley Siren, Selena Gomez, and the list goes on. Fun fact, Lizzie McGuire was one of the first TV shows that she ever saw and Hillary's concert was one of the first concerts that she went to. One time she was in Rome and she said that she had to contain herself from breaking into Lizzie McGuire quotes at all times. Her sister opened her first social media account, so both Instagram and Twitter. It was after she got her first job on Austin and Ally. Before that, she had no social media. Can you imagine that? The passwords for both of the accounts were dream big. Her first post ever was a photo that her mom took as she was walking onto the Disney lot for her first day on set and her mom texted her saying there she goes and to this day before any event or performance her mom will still text her there she goes mom dropped me off at the Walt Disney Studios lot she took a picture as I was walking into the lot and you could see like me in the distance and all the buildings and the billboards around it and she texted me saying there she goes and now still to this day right before I do anything um, special or I'm filming or whatever it may be she texts me saying there she goes 
and that photo also became my very first Instagram post. When Sophia was just a little girl, she dressed as Princess Belle every single year for Halloween because she wanted to grow up and be just like her, with her nose in a book and ignoring Gaston, and she was just an empowered princess, and that's who she wanted to be. And I think she's doing a pretty good job of being just that. Sophia speaks three different languages. Of course, English is her first language, Spanish is her second, and then she minored in French at UCLA. Her parents are from Colombia. Can you speak different languages? I can speak Spanish and French. Hola, me llamo Sofia Carson. Estamos aquí en Nueva York con Hollywood Life. And los quiero mucho. And then in French, we can do Bonjour, je m'appelle Sophie. Je vous aime beaucoup. Merci pour tout. Just like her character April in Netflix's Feel the Beat, she used to compete nationally in dance competitions when she was in high school. In one of them, she won first place, Platinum. She said she ran up to the stage and hugged the announcer and ran back to her seat with her trophy. Now, if you can perform in front of any celebrity, who would it be? Well, Sophia performed Hit Me Baby one more time in front of Britney Spears with Britney Spears' sister, Jamie Lynn Spears. That, she says, was one of the craziest experiences of her life. I mean, I would be so nervous. I don't know how she got through it. Sophia went on over 200 auditions while going to school in UCLA, twice a day sometimes, to finally get her chance. So never give up, guys. When she got the role in Descendants, she had just finished finals and she got the call. Imagine that, that was after 200 auditions. Now, did you know that Sophia's last name is actually Dakaret Char? But she chose to use Carson, which is her maternal grandmother's last name, as her artistic name. Through her mother, Sophia is related to the Char family of a Colombian politicians. All right, guys, that's all I have for you on 12 facts about Sophia Carson of Disney's Descendants. Which one surprised you the most? Comment down below and let me know. Be sure to check out some more Descendants videos while you're here, and I will see you next time.